Hi guys, it is Miss Holly and I am here today to teach you how to use the library's databases more for fun and less for schoolwork and homework. Most of our databases are more for research and schoolwork, but we do have some for fun and those are going to be the birthday time capsule, which I will show you, and then the creative bug database, which I will also show you. So first you're going to want to navigate to the library's website and that will be www.aapld.org. So let's get going. This is the library's website. It may be reached at aapld.org. In order to get to the databases, you have to hover over this virtual library tab and select the second choice down. That is called online resources. You will now be directed to a list of all our online resources, um, and most of them are going to be for schoolwork and for homework, not really for fun, um, but there are a few that are kind of fun. So this first one here is the Birthday Time Capsule. So this is the Birthday Time Capsule, and you don't have to enter in your birthday, you can enter in any old date. Um, so for the example, I entered in my brother's birthday. Um, but if you have an On This Day in History project, this would probably work pretty well too. So for the birthday time capsule, you get everything that happened around your birthday. So for the songs, it's the top songs for the whole year, but you can get news headlines for that week, certain prices for that day, um, other people that were born on the day, what the most top selling book was that year, lots of stuff. That is about it for the birthday time capsule. All right, so we are back at the library's online resources page, and I am just going to scroll down to get to the next database, which is called Creative Bug. It is right here, and when you click on it, it is going to ask you for your Algonquin Area Public Library District card number. That should start with a 2148800, and if it does not start with a 2148800, 2148800, then you do not have an Algonquin card. Um, so I'll just click on it and you'll enter in that card number. I went ahead and already did that so that no one else would see my card number. It would be a secret. Um, so it'll tell you success and then you will click see the latest classes here. And it opens up the database into all these different subjects of arts and crafts. Um, and if you just want to scroll through this way you can. You can do that for sure. Or you can go up here to the top of the screen and see all the different class subjects that they offer. So they have everything from art, sewing, quilting, paper crafts, all that yarn and knitting, crocheting crafts, recipes, making stuff in your kitchen, um, jewelry, cards, holiday gifts, and even just a special section for kids. Um, and this isn't all just crafts that maybe you'll just do once and it'll be done. Some of the some of the crafts on here are like a daily practice thing, something for you to do every day till you can get better at the skill you're trying to learn. Um, but what I use Creative Bug for mostly is the video tutorials on how to do a craft that I don't know how to do yet. I think it's very helpful for that. Um, and then if you want to get some inspiration under this inspiration category, um, you can find different pictures of different crafts that real people have done and they just upload it to Creative Bug or tag it on their social media. But for now, I am going to stick back here on this categories home screen. We're going to go into the kids section. So these are all kid friendly crafts. They shouldn't be that hard to do. Um, the one I wanted to focus on, just to give you kind of an idea of how this works, is a weaving craft. So let me see. I don't know if I see that right away. Maybe if we scroll just a little bit more. A lot of this also depends on what you have at home. Let's see. Mm, weaving. I am not seeing it. Maybe I should just search. Search up here. Weaving. All right, so you can kind of see there's there's a bunch of different options I can pick from. I can pick from weaving for beginners to more fancy looking stuff, um, but I am going to select the kids weaving. So I'm going to click view class. 
and then we get to the class. So it is asking me if I want to resume or start again since I've already watched this video when I was planning this program for you guys. That's why it says that. Um, but if you end up having to leave a tutorial early, just let, know that it'll save where you left off. Um, you don't have to worry about that. So that's pretty awesome. So down here we're going to see that there's a description of the craft. What are we doing? And then there are a few different video clips so that you don't have one giant 30 minute long video or anything like that. You can click on where you are at in your craft and get to that if you want. Um, and then there's a section where it tells you everything you will need to make this craft. So for the weaving, you'll need some cardboard, some scissors, some tape, some yarn, and a plastic needle and a leather cord or button if you want. That's kind of more for embellishments. Um, and gallery. Let's see, this will be real people who have made made their own weaving. So maybe you could put your picture up there. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> um, and discussion, we'll see. Are there any? Yeah, there's a few co comments on here. Um, real people use Creative Bug. And notes, this is for you. So maybe I don't know, any type of note maybe you could write. This was a little harder than I thought. We'll just save that. So maybe when you're going back, trying to figure out what crafts you want to do, which ones were too hard, which ones were bad, bad tutorials, and which ones were good tutorials, maybe that's what the notes is for. Um, and then if you're just kind of going through Creative Bug, trying to find some, some activities to do, they, just like Netflix and anything else, they have a watch list. So if you say you want to do this weaving craft, but you don't have time today, maybe tomorrow, you can save it so that you don't have to go searching through to find that video again. And then they are pretty great. They have a transcript for their videos. So if you are deaf or hard of hearing, that is okay because they've got your back here. So while I am not going to play the entire, all of the videos for the kids weaving, um, I figure you could do that at your house and you don't have to watch my screen to do it. Um, I'm just gonna press play so you can see how it gets started. Today we have a really awesome project. We are going to do some weaving. Weaving. We're gonna do some weaving. And weaving may be intimidating because it usually involves a loom and warp and weft and a shuttle, but we're going to strip it right down to its essentials today. And we're going to make bracelets, necklaces, things to hang on the wall. This is terrific for car rides or summertime or anytime you want to keep these little hands busy. So it's just gonna keep going to that next video. Here is what you need to get weaving. First, for the loom, we're gonna make it out of cardboard. It shouldn't be too thick. Anything that is in your recycling bin. Sort of like five pieces of paper stuck together. Sort of like five pieces of paper. You <laughs> All right, so that is kind of the gist of the video. They keep going and make that whole weaving craft. So before I come out back onto the screen and show you my weaving craft, just go one more time through Creative Bug. It's a great resource for makers, kids, anyone that has a bit of creativity. Um, and even if you don't have any creativity, that's okay. They teach you everything that you have to do so you can learn creativity. But let's check and see what my weaving looks like. So what do my weaves look like? Um, well, I did two and I finished one and did not finish the other because I ran out of time. Um, the first one, I did a more puffy yarn. I tried to make it a bookmark shape. Um, you could make it a bracelet too, like the people in the video if you want, or I was just going for a bookmark since I'm a librarian and that seems to make sense. So I used this puffy yarn and it kind of ended up looking like a bath towel. <laughs> I'm sure if you used a different type of string, it would look less like a bath towel. Um, but I would not recommend using too thin of a string because this embroidery floss here, look how small this guy is. And I worked on this for a really long time. Um, so this thread is just really, really thin. Um, and here is a 
unopened piece so you guys can see what it looks like, what it is. I'm sure you've seen it before. It's what you use to make friendship bracelets. Um, it's really bad to make weaving though. If you want to make a big, big thing, or maybe if you're a beginner, maybe if you are a super advanced weaver, you could do this and more really quick, really easy. But I would just not recommend using that embroidery floss. Um, and then I have another yarn here. I'm really excited. I'm hoping maybe I could do a, a weave with this one. It is yellow and puffy and it has different rainbow colors in it. So that sounds pretty awesome. Um, and then some of the things I was thinking about embellishing your weave with, um, you can use the yarn, you can use the embroidery floss, but there's, there's more things to put on there if you want. So I have this bag of buttons here. You could put buttons on your weave if you just take this, take this needle here and put it through one of the button's holes, you will start to string that button on, on here. And then you could have a bookmark with buttons, or maybe you could have a bracelet that has a button on one side, and then you could fasten it. That would be an amazing idea, I think. Um, but I started thinking about how buttons have the holes in them, and you can sew them onto things because of that. And something else has holes on them that you can sew onto, just like buttons, and that is sequins. So if you want to make your weave sparkly, you could totally do that if you have sequins at home. They can be sewed on easy as pie, just like a button. You just put the string right through the holes. Um, so that is all I have for today. And just because I did the weaving thing doesn't mean that you have to do the weaving thing. Everyone else has different stuff at home. And maybe you just don't have any yarn at home. And there's a better video on creative bug for you to do. So if you have a different creative bug video that you are wanting to do, you just go ahead and do it. And maybe you could even share it with us, see which ones worked, which ones don't. I know all the people upstairs in that makerspace, they love that creative bug website. Um, so you should definitely share what works for you with us. Real quick, one last thing before I go, I have to put on my mask. It has to cover my nose and my mouth at the same time. So now I am ready to go back into that regular part of the library because I'm in the special room just for making videos for you. But remember when you come to the library, wear your mask and it has to cover your nose and your mouth. Have a great day, everyone.